I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2016 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 13. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 13. So this is question 13. It is testing us on the skills of our ratio and percentage, okay? So we'll be using ratio and percentage to solve this question. Let's read the question first. The participants of a quiz are divided equally into two groups. In the first group, there are 20 more boys than girls. In the second group, there are 12 more girls than boys. 45% of all the participants are girls. How many participants are boys? Okay, so now that we have read the question, let's highlight the key information. So, the participants of a quiz are divided equally into two groups. So equal number in two groups. Okay. In the first group, there are 20 more boys than girls. Okay. In the first group. In the second group, there are 12 more girls than boys. Okay. So they are telling us 45% of all the participants are girls, okay? So they are asking us how many participants are boys. So, now that we read the question, we should write down the ratio first. So I'm going to write down the ratio for group A. So group A, they are telling us that there are 20 more boys than girls. So boys is to girls. So I'm going to put boys as 1U plus 20 and girls 1u because boys are more than girls okay for group b i'm not going to use one unit again because it's not the same right we should use uh, i'm going to use one p one part okay so one part and the girls are 12 more than the boys in the second group so basically i put one p plus 12 okay so this is how i separate them together so they are asking us how many participants are boys. So boys are basically this whole row, right? This whole row, this whole column over here. And then the girls are this whole column over here. So what we must do is actually add them up. So I'm going to add these boys column first. So I'm going to add all the boys here. And I'm going to add all the girls here. So the boys... The girls is basically one unit plus one part plus 12. Okay. Okay. So basically, this is group A over here. And this is group B. Okay. And then for the boys. This is over here. This over here. Okay, so basically, one unit came from the group A's, okay? So this is how I add them up. So for the boys, for the girls, right? Girls has one unit over here, plus one part over here, plus 12 over here. And then the boys, I take one unit over here, plus one part over here, plus 20 over here. So basically, I'm lining up the units and the parts and the whole numbers together. Now, we know that the percentage of the girls are 45, so we can find how many percent are boys first. So the boys are 100% minus 45%, which is 55%. So the difference between the boys and girls is basically 55% minus 45%, which is 10%. 10% refers to 20 minus 12. I've told you, always use refers to. Okay, I think many of you are stuck over here. Why is 10% 20 minus 12? Why is the difference between the boys and girls 20 minus 12? I, I know that many of you are stuck over here. So we know that the boys are more, right? Let, now I'm going to use this thing over here. Okay, now I'm going to take boys minus girls. Okay? So boys minus girls. So this is basically 
one unit plus one part plus twenty okay minus one unit plus one part plus twelve okay so when we minus it right the one unit are cancelling out each other because one unit minus one unit is equal to zero unit so that's basically nothing one part minus one part cancels out because one part minus one part equals nothing so that is why we take 12 20 minus 12 which is 8 so this is why 10 percent is equal to 8 so i hope you understand that now we can find one percent so one percent refers to 8 divided by 10 okay because 8 is 10%. So 1% should be 8 divided by 10%, which is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 boys, okay? Okay, 0 0.8 boys, this is like um, 8 over 10 over human. So we should find all 55% of the boys now. Okay, so 55% is 55 times 0 0.8, which is 44. So now there is a whole number that are actual humans standing instead of half head chopped off, okay? So there are 44 boys in total. So 55% are boys, right? So that is why I find 55, 55 times 0 0.8, which is 44. So 44 is the answer for question 13. So I hope you understand my explanation for question 13, ratio and percentage. Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.